Objective To study about human digestive system Large intestine Large intestine is the last region of the alimentary canal. The diameter of large intestine is larger than that of the small intestine, hence the name. It is about 1.5 meters long and consists of cecum, colon, and rectum. Cecum is a small blind sac which hosts some symbiotic microorganisms. A narrow, finger-like tubular projection called vermiform appendix arises from the cecum. It is a vestigial organ. Its wall contains prominent lymphoid tissue. It is considered as the abdominal tonsil. The inflammation of vermiform appendix is called appendicitis. The cecum opens into the colon. The colon is divided into the ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and sigmoid colon. Ascending colon is the shortest part of the colon and is without mesentery. The colon has three longitudinal muscle bands called tinea coli and a series of numerous small pouches called haustra. Small, fat-filled projections called epiploic appendages are present on the surface of the colon. The sigmoid colon opens into the rectum, which leads into the anal canal. The opening of the anal canal is called anus. The anus has internal and external anal sphincters. The internal anal sphincter, or ani internus, is composed of smooth muscle fibers, and the external anal sphincter or ani externus is composed of striped muscle fibers. In certain conditions like persistent constipation, rectal veins can get distended due to weakening of their valves. This leads to swollen areas called hemorrhoids or piles. No significant digestive activity occurs in the large intestine. The functions of the large intestine are absorption of some water, minerals, and certain drugs, secretion of mucus which helps in adhering the undigested particles together and lubricating it for an easy passage, temporary storage of feces till defecation, Moderate quantities of vitamin K and vitamin B complex are produced by bacteria in the large intestine. Large intestine is the last region of the alimentary canal. It is about 1.5 meters long and consists of cecum, colon and rectum. Cecum is a small blind sac which hosts some symbiotic microorganisms. A narrow, finger-like tubular projection called vermiform appendix arises from the cecum. The cecum opens into the colon. The colon is divided into the ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and sigmoid colon. The sigmoid colon opens into the rectum, which leads into the anal canal. The opening of the anal canal is called anus. The anus has internal and external anal sphincters.